I saw Christopher Daniels got thrown into the cage, and and in the beginning of the match, his head was shredded. I mean, his head was, I mean, the top of his skull was shredded, man. And um, it, 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 it phew, good grief. How many times, you know, Hope got down because that cage was just hard, other than the fact that I had some issues to settle with uh, that guy under the mask because I know who he is, see? But uh, that's <laughs> another story. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, Pope, you know, I got the gift. I might as well use it, man. I know who the guy is, and, and I'm going and I'm going to expose him. But uh, that cage is brutal. It's hard. Uh, it's rough. It's, it's the uh, bars are darn near uh, three inches, uh, two to three inches uh, wide, man. So it's it's hard to climb up them, you know. And and when you grasp it, you know the reason, you know, I had gloves on, thankfully. Uh, but when you grasp that cage, man, it cuts your hand. So it, it's really brutal. And my hat go my, my hat off to all of those guys who have done that uh, over the years because, you know, I don't expect to do it no more. <laughs> um, now, can you can you can you enlighten us on you know, you're coming to the ring and there's this big production, you know, with all the, you know, the accessories you have on, the mask, the glasses, the gloves, you know. Well, look where here. Was that, what, Go ahead, brother. What was, what was the idea, you know, where did that idea come from? I, I'm thinking the mask was a little homage to Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, no comment. Okay. All right. Um, oh, good grief, man. You've been in the court of law. Come on now. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Good grief. You plead the fifth. Okay, we're going to move on. All right, okay. good. <laughs> well, no problem. Uh, the, the whole thing behind it is uh, everybody, Pope has been the, the black Pope and has been Pope for what? Over two and a half years, you know. So Pope is, isn't something that's just been made up. Pope has been my alter ego uh, ever since, you know, uh, the ECW uh, blogs that I've always done. And you know, aka the Elijah experience. So, the reasoning behind the accessories, uh, the mask, and the introduction is, is is quite simple. It's different. Nobody's nobody's done it. Nobody's doing it. And that's the point. And that's how you get in. You know, you you make a name for yourself, and you stand out. You stand out by being different. And that's the whole point of that's what you call my elaborate interest and trust me it's nothing it, it ain't a la it's good brother but if pope put his touches on it the way pope wanted done it'd be a spectacular uh, a spectacle you know like my man mj if you get my grill so but that's the whole point behind that it's just different man and it's pretty cool too i, I like it don't you of course now now we've got we've got a caller from the 732 you're always up to hearing from your your congregation, correct? Uh, absolutely. All right. And and, and by the way, before, before the caller speaks and before you take any more calls, you be sure to inform everybody that's calling in that Pope plan don't kick in until after nine o'clock. Okay, and I'm on the cell phone, so please send donations and contributions to the ElijahExpress.com. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you send it, it will be taken. All right. <laughs> don't make, please, don't make me start. I'm not passing around no co uh, collection plate, so you don't have to worry about that. Ain't no Reverend, uh, uh, Reverend Devon on here this time, and uh, uh that ain't happening with the Pope. All right, caller from the seven three two. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, uh, Black Pope? Um, I had. Are you still? Are, do you still want to take some uh, suggestions for your finishing move, or is that, sure. is that out of it? No, go okay. ahead. I, I'll be taking suggestions all the way up until next Thursday's impact. I was thinking something maybe like the last rites or uh, the dark the sacrament, something, something like that. I don't know. Uh, the last rite is cool. He, 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 I like the last rite. My thing. Um, I think a lot of people are missing out on is the fact that everyone's trying to stay within the religious realm of, you know, of, of, of wording it. You know, why, well, I mean, haven't you heard? Haven't you read? Haven't you, haven't you seen? 
Did you listen to my congregation in the impact zone? Do you not know that Pope is pimping? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. So, so every and, and again, I appreciate that. Everyone's trying to stay within the religious wording. I mean, but Pope is pimping, Daddy. Think about that. Pimp hand is strong. That's the finishing move. Pimp hand is strong. <laughs> How about that pimp slap, huh? Cream won't be in his like mouth. That. Any other questions or comments, uh, 732? No, I just want to say it's good to good to be able to watch you on TV again. Hey, hey man, I appreciate you. Have no idea how much I appreciate that. And and again, it was um it was only a matter of 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 the stars aligning and and and, and the moon uh, circulating around the freaking atmosphere. That's all, man. It was just all about time, and as this business is. So, uh, and and hopefully you'll get a chance to enjoy me in, in a lot. More in a profound way on TNA Impact, man. I'm, 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 I'm looking to, I'm looking to get, get what's mine, man. You know, so I think I have the opportunity to do so in TNA. All right, thanks, caller. All right. Um, yeah, I got it. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, last time you were on. Uh, you alluded to a meeting of some sort. Um, did anyone swoo you or, uh, you know, try and lure you over to uh, TNA since you were in talks? Uh, you, you hinted at maybe a meeting with a sting, a little sit-in dinner. Did it, anything like that go on? Well, of course meetings went on. Uh, if Pope said it, it happened, and, you know, that's, that's the whole thing about negotiating and, and you know, uh, talking and getting a feel for things. Uh, so, uh, you know, a, a, again, you know, uh, you guys you guys knew all the way back in December that talks were going on. And um, Pope didn't make a move to actually go down there until, I guess, I don't know, June maybe. So, uh, you know, get a feel for the ring and everything. Um, how it is, and, and, and I got to tell you that that impact ring, TNA's ring, is a, a heck of a lot harder than your average ring, whether it be an OVW or WWE or independent wrestling. I mean, TNA's ring, again, my hat's off to those guys, especially the uh, the older talent that's, you know, is so accustomed to wrestling in a, a four sided ring, and they're in there bouncing off of those ropes that don't even give. Oh man, it's it's but uh so to my take on TNA is that you have to be a true athlete to uh hold your own in there. And 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 that's what we have in TNA. We have a ton of athletes and we and and and, and true wrestlers. Uh you know, we got we we got our acrobats, we have our uh wrestlers, you know, we, we it's just a great mix. We have our legends and um What's cool about those guys is they don't mind missing it up with the younger talent. They don't mind putting the younger talent over. Uh, they don't mind working in such a way that caused them to try something different. I mean, when I see Sting do a power bomb, I mean, Pope was sitting at home and watched Sting do a power bomb on Kurt Angle. You know, and it's like, man, when do I remember Sting doing a power bomb? You know, or 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 when I watch. Thing do the muscle buster on some more Joe, you know stuff like that, man. That that it shows you that while these guys are legends, they're still open minded. They're, they're still willing to mix it up and 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 add new things to their arsenal, and um, that's pretty cool. And good grief, you haven't asked, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Uh, what's the difference, Hope? What's the difference in TNA and WWE? You know, <laughs> thinking about the backstage stuff. Well, I will tell you this. I I had no problems in WWE, none whatsoever. Backstage, I didn't have to deal with any type of thing because, you know, I, I respected everyone and everyone respected Pope. But good grief, as far as I know at least. <laughs> but, um, man, when, when, when Pope showed up in TNA and Pope go, go backstage and, and, and it's, the environment is crazy, ridiculously different. 
Okay, and 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 I could try to put every other word to do.